Good morning, myself from the Treasure class. This is Marie Daisy Caron, and uh, this is my lecture for the first week of October. Okay, the objective of uh, this uh, today's session is to analyze Filipino values and values, Filipino literary uh, text, determine the concept of heroism, and interpret aesthetic values and important insights concerning human nature and human experience. So we'll be having a lot of experience under the class, but um, and I hope you will enjoy this. So I have here my topic outline. We have the pre-colonial period. We're going to discuss myths and legends, like for example the Great Flood, and then we have the epic of the Yulam Ang, and we also have the folk songs Manong Dubai, Pamulinawan, and Sarong Bongi. So these um, lit literatures are product of pre-colonial, and I hope you will be enjoying it. We could be reading and we could be watching all of these literatures so that we will be able to, to exhaust uh, the, the, the feeling, the thoughts our, our ancestor had uh, during this period and appreciate and try to uh, analyze what kind of literature the Philippines had in the past. Uh, during the pre-colonial period. So, mabuhay tayong lahat. I have just discussed the, the things that we had in the past. Now that we are focused now on the pre-colonial. So, when you say pre-colonial literature, these are the old oral traditions of the people, recorded and unrecorded, prior to Spanish colonization. And it gives us insight to the basis of literary prose displayed during the Spanish colonization. So I will be asking you to watch uh, the, the link uh, posted in our on our on my slide and that is the myth and legends coming from uh, again Afra from the uh, uh, upper part of where in the zone. It is all about the great flood. So please watch that. And then um, we are going also to watch uh Yalilam Ang, also an epic from the north, from the locals. And uh carefully you try to facilitate this one or find this one in the YouTube. It's very accessible, it could be easily be found. So take note of the link that I have posted on this slide. And then of course I have three slides here because we're going to listen to the songs Manang Didai, Pamri Nawan, and Sarang Bangi. Again, these are products of the pre colonial period, so that is why I wanted you to digest all of those products so that you could at least feel the spirit of the colonial uh, environment or atmosphere during that time. Okay, so now we understand after maybe, not now, but after you watch all of these films and after you listen to the songs that I posted, you will understand, you will be able to understand Philippine culture, Philippine literatures with your feelings and thoughts. Uh, prior to Spanish colonization, and I hope that all the spirit in here, the energy in this literature, is could be enlivened into your life and uh, feel the life of this literature into yourself and feel the beauty of this literature into yourself so that you'll be able to connect to your past. And I hope you will be able to understand how uh, the spirit of love and the spirit of peace is being created. And, uh, Try to experience that very light feeling from the things that I've asked you, I've instructed you to watch. So don't ever forget the link that I've given you. So out of those uh, uh, movies or video clips that you're going to watch, we have activities. As I told you, as you will never get rid of activities. Um, we're going to have the following about the great flood activity. I have posted three questions there. What Filipino core values do we get from the story? Briefly explain. Okay, briefly explain. And then discuss briefly a part of the story where you hear heroism is manifested. Explain your answer why the concept of heroism is there and which part do you find interesting in life? Again, for the Vyagnilam Ang activity, I also posted the same question. What Filipino core uh, values do we get from the story? 
this gives briefly a part of the story and you are hearing using this manifesto to explain your answer. And of course, which part do you find interesting in why? And then for the songs that uh, you have you listening to, uh, you have three, right? So you just choose one. And uh, what is the song? What is the song all about? And the two, what does it tell about the Filipinos and the Philippines in general? How do you feel when you listen to the song? Do you wish to sing some other song? Why? And then which part of the song do you like best and why? Relate this to your experiences in life. And then of course my directions, I still have the same, it's still all of the same uh, technical procedure. I still have the same scoring with it. And um, okay, this is the most exciting part of this activity. I have here a project, it's a group project. And I guess I have asked you to have a create three groups already among yourselves. So by this time, maybe you already did that. And here are my instructions for your project for the MedBand, which is 40% of your uh, cover grade. So group yourself into three, arrange alphabetically, or your preference as a student, because I want you to feel comfortable in the group. And second one, search another folklore on blood story anywhere in the Philippines and create an infograph for each part of the story, depending on how you create your summary. Okay? So infograph, researching the net. Infograph is like there are a lot of pictures in it and you're trying, there's a few word text and it's giving information. So it's information about the story. Okay? If you have some questions about infograph, please DM me and please search more on the internet to support the, the meaning of infograph. But uh, basically, I will send you another file to show you a sample of that one. Uh, the infograph, you are free to do it. We have a lot of styles in the internet, available in the internet. And uh, I, I will not structure your infograph because I want your creativity to come out from your product. Okay, this is very important. Your creativity, your expression is very, very important to me. I value all of those because it's yourself. It's the unique you. And then C, limit infograph up to, uh, up to uh, minimum of 10 pages and maximum of 15 pages. It's like a story pages, but you have to limit them into 10 to 15 pages only. And then uh, letter D, when you submit for a picture of the student on the cover page, and is her name below his picture for identification. So there is a small picture and you put your uh, group's name on it. Do not forget a picture of that particular student so that I will be able to identify the student, especially when you do, uh, we do the uh, virtual class. Okay, I want to see also the pictures of the student because it's, we have li limited time and we have limited resources in looking into the faces of our of our faces when we do a virtual class. So at least in that very in that small picture, I could see your face and I could identify you. So ten uh, submission, ten days upon receipt, ten products my Google accounts or FB account, but I would prefer Google accounts. Again, again, again and again. You're like skip from that less is all. And these are my references. Okay, goodbye, flying to foretell the destiny of a nation. It is necessary to open the book that tells of our past. So, our historical past uh, on the virtual is very, very much important. Again, this is Marie Daisy Corral, your instructor for this project. Thank you very much, and God bless us all. I love you all. <laughs>